Okay, today is January 25th, 2018, and right now at uh, 10 p.m. we have a temperature of 47 degrees in the foothills of Los Angeles. The relative humidity is 40%. The dew point is 25 degrees, and the barometer is down at 30.05. And uh, right now we're looking at the uh, western U.S. water vapor loop. Today in the Los Angeles area, we had uh, very cloudy skies. And uh, as we saw uh, as the afternoon, uh, we saw chemtrails up through the uh, clouds. We have a jet stream flow additionally right here, uh, moving right into California with no rain. So we're going to take a look at that. Uh, we have the uh, jet stream map right here showing that flow pattern right into California. High-speed flow right here. This lighter color is the high-speed flow, as indicated down here. This is the speed in knots. We've got basically about 110 to 130 a knot uh, flow right in this area, moving into uh, Central California and also Southern California. This color down here looks like about 100 knots. And yet there's no rain. Let's take a look next at the uh, telecast Doppler map. There's no rain. We've got this flow pattern right into uh, California, the jet stream flow, and there's no rain. Okay, so uh, we've got a problem once again. That problem is not only the uh, aerosols being sprayed, but uh, if we take a look here at the Western U.S. Uh, water vapor loop, we see that right here we have a transmitter right here which is focusing RF energy or laser light, one of the two, and we see the hole being opened up right here and that is evaporating all this moisture as it moves in. And here on the IR map we can see the result of that. All this should be moving right in continuity of this flow should remain consistent all the way through into California. We've got this low pressure system right here which has uh, generated some pretty high surf off offshore, high swells. We can take a look at the uh, the uh, swell report right here. We have 20 foot swells right off of the uh, central California coast. That's from that low pressure system that moved through. So the people in Central California who like to go surfing near Mavericks are going to have a good day tomorrow. Getting back to this big map, the Northeast Pacific Water Vapor Loop, we can see a storm system that has dropped down right here. We can see a perfect right angle towards the end of that loop right there forming. This was a storm a couple of days ago, and now it is a, a gale just uh, north northwest uh, of the Hawaiian Islands right here. We can see that, that right angle and all this uh, high pressure manipulation which is blocking the next system. We can see a fairly straight edge uh, firming up right there. Right here, look at this. This blockade is completely stopping the uh, eastbound flow out of the uh, West Pacific. And we can see that right angle right there. And then we have high pressure installed right on top of the jet stream, which is evaporating all that moisture. This should be moving right into California. And so these terrorists that are uh, controlling our weather have engineered another drought for the southwest. We've had barely over three inches of rain, three and a quarter inches of rain, something like that, three and three eighths inches of rain for the entire season starting July 1st. And so this uh, year is shaping up to be probably the driest on record because of the people that are behind this installing high pressure right on top of this jet stream flow right here. Right, uh, where is it? Right here. We've got the jet stream and we've got high pressure installed right on top of that flow pattern. That is about as unnatural <clears throat> as uh, we're going to see. 
And again, this is why we have cartoon animated weather on television. And I think this is one of the reasons also uh, the NOAA goes east maps are no longer available. When you go to, uh, when you look up NOAA goes east and click on that, this is the new web page that you get. <clears throat> Those maps are no longer available that we used to look at in the Caribbean, the east, uh, the western Atlantic maps, the Gulf of Mexico map. None of that is available. Instead, we get these. Rink, uh, really uh, rinky-dink maps. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, Atlantic coast, for example. And we get a whole myriad of maps. It's uh, hard to decide which one to use. Uh, the typical liar map that I used to use uh, is uh, no longer. There's, there's plenty of IR maps. But uh, let's take a look at this one here. This is the shortwave IR map. We'll take a look at that real quick. And what we get is a pop-up that is just essentially useless. This is not really anything we can use. So uh, what we're going to do, I'm not going to even wait for this to load up. It's, you get this pop-up, and you move the mouse around, and you get a still image. It's not worth the time. These things are basically useless. So what we're going to do for the East Coast from now on is just rely on the SSEC water vapor map. Right here, this is a look at the current east coast conditions. <clears throat> so there's a reason why uh, the NOAA took down those maps. We won't be able to watch the hurricanes in any sort of detail. The, the floaters maps have all been uh, taken down as well. So we can't get any extreme close-ups of the satellite transmitters uh, superheating the centers of those hurricanes. All that's gone. We can't do that. Out here on the west coast, uh, we'll be able to still track uh, on the floaters maps. We can still track the stuff be weathered here on the uh, eastern Pacific and the central Pacific. So that's the uh, situation. Uh, there should be a fake news award for uh, the weather department. For people reporting the weather, we should have a fake news awards for, for that. And I think that Jody Kodesh will win the first award for the fake news. You can see her videos on, on YouTube. She's a uh, she's a reporter for, I think, ABC or NBC down in San Diego, Jody Kodesh. And uh, anyhow, uh, there's just, there's probably a lot of more of fake news in the weather than there is, uh, well, it's probably about 50-50 now that we're learning about this uh, memo that was put together. Looks like uh, Trump was framed. There's, there's no Russian collusion. That, that, that was a fairy tale from the beginning. We've got some uh, serious corruption. There's going to be a lot of people going to jail for years over this. Completely uh, falsified report about him uh, being over in Russia and all that. It's all just fake news. <clears throat> Mueller and all of his people, uh, they're going to have to find out some other way to... Uh, make a living, I think. Okay, so here we have a good shot of what's going on. The jet stream is being evaporated. No rain. We have terrorists in control of our weather. Nobody's reporting it on the news. And uh, YouTube and Google are uh, basically banning this channel. They're censoring it by not uh, allowing the view counts to uh, reflect the actual uh, traffic. Here's the uh, southwest IR map. We see pockets of moisture moving through. No rain. No rain. No rain on the forecast for the next 10 days. So as I say, we've had about 3 and 3 eighths inches. It's going to be probably the driest record, the driest year on record. And that will average out, that will help average out the these uh, options and derivatives that have been purchased for uh, multi-year contracts. Okay. I think that's going to wrap it up, and we'll try to do another one tomorrow. That's it.